Does this Sony ZV-E10 balance on the Jun Crane M2? Do you even need a gimbal for this camera? Let's take a Jam Life tech adventure. Welcome back to Jan Live Tech Talk. So our Sony ZV-E10 finally arrived and as you can see, it does balance on the Jun Crane M2 with the 10 to 18 F4 lens attached. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and like the video. We want you to join in the fun over the tech release season. So yes indeed, they do work together, but I found that it was a lot harder to balance this camera to the Crane M2 than say the ZV-1. And that's due to the weight of the camera and lens being a lot closer to the limit of 720 grams or 1.5 pounds of the Crane M2. Maybe this camera will balance better on say the DJI RS2, but that's for another video. So I've got a few tests here putting Sony's active stabilization up against the gimbal. What I've included in the comparisons is some post-production using Catalyst Browse. And the results were, well, I'll let you be the judge of that one. So here's some tests done in Sydney Harbour, so enjoy. So the first of these tests is the handheld tripod test. Just trying to hold the camera as steady as I can so it's like it's sitting on top of the tripod. You can start to see here just how well Catalyst Browse does perform. So the second of these tests is the walking test, just walking along holding the camera basically. Um, again, you can see how well the Catalyst Browse is performing, um, pretty much equal to the Crane M2. Active stabilization here is a bit jumpy. Okay, so here we have a slow pan test with Catalyst Browse included once again. And here's a fast pan test without Catalyst Browse this time. And here's go mode on the Crane M2 versus a fast movement on the active stabilization. Okay, as you can see, when we get to a running test that the Crane M2 Catalyst Browse still performing very well, active stabilization, really jumpy here. It's unusable footage, really. Okay, a walking vlog test here. This is what uh, most vloggers would use uh, the camera for. And you can see that Catalyst Browse and the Crane M2 doing a really good job. I think the active stabilization could be fixed here with a warp stabilizer in Final Cut Pro or Premiere. Okay, my best attempt to run up some stairs here, you can see that the Crane M2 doing a good job. Active stabilization, yep. Oh, I don't think this is salvageable, unusable footage again. So what did you guys think? I have to say, while the Jun Crane M2 is a very compact and great gimbal, I think the results I got from Catalyst Browse were very similar. And with this gimbal, there was lots of playing around to get the balance correct. I did find that active stabilization on the camera can be made acceptable by say a warp stabilizer in Final Cut Pro, and the same would apply for Adobe Premiere but it would not cover things when running or anything more. I think also due to the crop of active stabilization, which is by the way, quite a lot and crop due to the Catalyst Browse, the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter lens is one that you really need for vlogging. So you can have some crop, but still get the width you need. If you don't want to do any post-production and I know how that can take time, then yes, you will need this gimbal or even something like the DJI RSC2 might suit it better. 
for me, I think I will leave it to Catalyst Browse. You do have to spend time in post and you do have to wait while the file export, but I think it's well worth it. Sony Active Stabilization is not quite at the level where I would trust it for everything. It does not work in low light either. Remember, this camera has no IPIS and the active stabilization is electronic and not mechanical, but you can fix it up to a certain extent with warp stabilization, like I said. But what's your opinion on all this? Will you be buying a gimbal to match up with the Sony ZV-E10? And if so, which one? Or do you agree with me that Catalyst Browse and active stabilization will do the job for you? Please let us know in the comments section below. As you guys know, we'd love to hear from you. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped you out. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and hit the like button. We'll see you on the next Jam Life Tech Adventure.